no two rescues are alike. Let's review how to use the Zoll AED 3 BLS so you feel confident should you need to use it. The Zoll AED 3 BLS can be customized to local protocols or regional guidelines. This review covers basic functions. Please familiarize yourself with the settings your Zoll AED 3 BLS will use. Also, learn the locations where your devices are kept so that you are ready to grab one quickly. As you approach your Zoll AED 3 BLS, look for the green check symbol in the status indicator window. A green check means that the device has passed its periodic self-test and is ready for use. Place the Zoll AED 3 BLS next to the patient. As a reminder, the device has a dual orientation capability. It can be laid flat or it can be stood upright as the need to view the screen from various angles can change during a rescue. Turn on the AED by pressing the on-off button. The Zoll AED 3 BLS will cycle through a series of audio and visual prompts. Place the pads as previously described. Ensure that the patient's chest is clean and dry. If the patient has excessive chest hair, clip or shave the chest hair. If you have different pads, please consult the operator's manual for manufacturer recommendations. Once pads are placed, the Zoll AED-3 BLS will begin to analyze the rhythm. Do not touch defibrillation pad surfaces, the patient, or any conductive material touching the patient during ECG analysis or defibrillation. If a shock is advised, press the flashing shock button to deliver a shock using Zoll's rectilinear biphasic defibrillation waveform. If a shock is not advised or after a shock has been delivered, begin CPR. During the rescue, the CPR dashboard will provide real CPR help to deliver high-quality CPR for adult patients. The CPR countdown timer will display the time left in the current CPR period. At the end of a CPR cycle, the Zoll AED 3 BLS will analyze the rhythm again. The time from stopping CPR to delivering a shock, known as the pre-shock pause, can be as brief as 8 seconds. Providing a reduced hands-off time means an increase of CPR fraction, which is key to an effective biphasic shock. If transferring the patient to another level of care, you can quickly note the number of shocks and the elapsed event time on the screen. You have completed the module that takes you step-by-step -step through a rescue with the Zoll AED-3 BLS. Continue to the Data Transfer module.